Hi everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to be making some simple but delicious salmon steaks. I started with uh, salmon fillet with the skin on and um, I apologize for not including that in the video. I cut them into steaks and here you can see me drizzling some olive oil on the steaks. I'm doing that so that when I add my salt and pepper it'll bind a little bit better and it won't fall off. So basically you need to just drizzle a little bit of olive oil add some crushed black pepper or whatever black pepper you have add some salt season it to taste you don't need it to be a lot of salt but you want it to be well seasoned next you want to grab a pan add some olive oil and set your heat to medium high if you guys like the content that I'm providing here, please give me a like, share, and subscribe to help grow my channel. Here, I'm just going to be spreading the oil a little bit in the pan so that the fish doesn't stick. Once it's sufficiently heated, we're going to be adding the salmon and letting it cook for about a minute and a half per side. A little tip for knowing when to flip the salmon is if you notice when you put the salmon in the pan, it's a bright orange. But as the cooking process continues, you'll notice that it'll start to turn pink. And from the bottom to the center of the salmon, you will see that it gradually turns pink. Once it gets halfway, you can pretty much flip it over. If it gets all the way to the top, it's almost cooked through. Your cook time will also vary depending on the thickness of the salmon steaks. This one was about half an inch thick all right it's about that time so we're gonna give it a flip cook it for another minute and a half and Repeat the process for the remaining pieces of salmon steak. Alright, here we're getting ready for the next step. We're preparing the baking tray, preheating the oven to about 380 degrees, and we're going to be taking the salmon out of the pot and placing them season side up. last few pieces we're gonna do the same steps these pieces are a little bit smaller so you want to wash them not to overcook them in the pot because we're gonna be putting them in the oven for about five minutes and you don't want them to be hard and unpleasant
that's it. The last pieces are out of the pan. We want to get our fish placed in the oven at around 380 degrees for five minutes. And through the magic of editing, we're done. The creamy white liquid on top of the fish is also the, a good way of letting you know that the fish is cooked. I chose to pair the fish with a Mexican inspired rice and beans with corn and cilantro and a squeeze of the lemon. Enjoy guys. Again, if you like the content that I'm providing, please like, share and subscribe.